Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're tackling a crucial topic that affects millions worldwide, colon cancer. Colon cancer is one of the most common cancers globally, but the good news is that when detected early, it's highly treatable. In this video, we'll delve into the early warning signs of colon cancer that you don't want to ignore. By understanding these symptoms and taking proactive steps, you can protect yourself and your loved ones from this formidable disease. Before we delve into the warning signs, let's briefly discuss what colon cancer is and why early detection is critical. Colon cancer, also known as colorectal cancer, begins in the colon or rectum, which are parts of the digestive system. It typically starts as small growths called polyps, which can become cancerous over time if not removed. While the exact cause of colon cancer is unknown, factors such as age, family history, diet, and lifestyle can increase the risk. Early warning signs of colon cancer. Changes in bowel habits. The digestive system operates on a delicate balance and changes in bowel habits can often signal underlying issues. While occasional fluctuations in bowel movements are common and typically harmless, persistent changes that endure for more than a few days warrant attention, especially if they're unexplained. Persistent diarrhea, characterized by frequent, loose, or watery stools, can be a symptom of various gastrointestinal conditions, including infections, inflammatory bowel disease, or irritable bowel syndrome. However, if diarrhea persists without an obvious cause and is accompanied by other symptoms such as abdominal pain, rectal bleeding, or unexplained weight loss, it could indicate a more serious underlying issue such as colon cancer. Conversely, persistent constipation marked by infrequent bowel movements or difficulty passing stool can also be concerning, particularly if it's a departure from your usual bowel habits. Constipation can occur due to factors such as dietary changes, dehydration, or lack of physical activity. However, if constipation persists despite efforts to alleviate it, or if it's accompanied by symptoms such as abdominal pain, bloating, or rectal bleeding, further evaluation is warranted. Blood in the stool. Rectal bleeding or blood in the stool is a symptom that should never be ignored as it can be a warning sign of various gastrointestinal conditions, including colon cancer. Here's why it's crucial to pay attention to this symptom and seek medical evaluation if you experience it. When blood is present in the stool or seen on toilet paper after wiping, it can be alarming. Rectal bleeding can manifest as bright red blood or as darker. Tarry stools known as melena, depending on where the bleeding originates in the gastrointestinal tract. While rectal bleeding can occur for benign reasons such as hemorrhoids or anal fissures, it can also indicate more serious underlying issues, including colorectal cancer. Colon cancer can cause bleeding when tumors in the colon or rectum grow large enough to ulcerate or bleed. The blood may mix with stool, causing it to appear red or maroon colored, or it may be passed separately from the stool. Regardless of the appearance, rectal bleeding should prompt further evaluation by a healthcare professional to determine its cause and rule out serious conditions, such as cancer, abdominal discomfort, persistent abdominal pain, cramping or discomfort, especially if it's localized to the lower abdomen, can be indicative of various gastrointestinal issues, including colorectal cancer. Understanding the nature of this discomfort and its potential implications is crucial for early detection and treatment. Here's why you should pay attention to abdominal pain and seek medical evaluation if you experience it. Abdominal pain or discomfort that persists over time, particularly if it's localized to the lower abdomen, may be a sign of underlying gastrointestinal pathology. In the context of colorectal cancer, abdominal pain can occur when tumors in the colon or rectum grow large enough to cause pressure on nearby structures or obstruct the bowel. This discomfort may manifest as cramping, aching, or a sense of fullness or pressure in the abdomen. It may come and go or be constant, and it may worsen with certain activities such as eating or bowel movements. Some individuals may also experience bloating, gas, or changes in bowel habits alongside abdominal pain. Unexplained weight loss. Unexplained weight loss is a concerning symptom. That should not be overlooked as it can sometimes be an early warning sign of underlying health issues, including colon cancer. Here's why unintentional weight loss should prompt further evaluation. When individuals lose weight unintentionally, meaning they haven't made any deliberate changes to their diet or exercise routine, it can be a cause for concern. 
Unexplained weight loss is generally defined as losing more than 5% of your body weight over a period of 6 to 12 months without trying. While there are various reasons for unintentional weight loss, cancer, including colon cancer, is one potential explanation. Colon cancer can lead to unexplained weight loss through several mechanisms. Tumors in the colon or rectum may interfere with the body's ability to absorb nutrients from food, leading to deficiencies and subsequent weight loss. Additionally, cancer can disrupt the body's metabolism, causing increased energy expenditure or changes in appetite that contribute to weight loss. Fatigue and weakness. Persistent fatigue, weakness, or a general feeling of. Tiredness that doesn't improve with rest can be debilitating and may indicate an underlying health issue, such as colon cancer. Here's why it's essential to pay attention to these symptoms and seek medical evaluation if you experience them. Fatigue is a common symptom experienced by many individuals, but when it becomes persistent and severe, it can significantly impact quality of life and functioning. Cancer-related fatigue, in particular, is often described as overwhelming and unrelenting, not alleviated by sleep or rest. Colon cancer can cause fatigue through various mechanisms. Tumors in the colon or rectum may lead to chronic blood loss, resulting in anemia, which is characterized by a decreased number of red blood cells and reduced oxygen, carrying capacity of the blood. Anemia can cause fatigue, weakness, and shortness of breath as the body struggles to meet its oxygen demand. Iron deficiency anemia. It's important to note that while iron deficiency anemia can be caused by various factors, including dietary deficiencies and other gastrointestinal conditions, chronic bleeding from colon cancer is a significant risk factor. Colon cancer can lead to occult, hidden, or overt bleeding in the digestive tract, which, if left untreated, can result in progressive iron deficiency anemia and its associated symptoms. If you experience symptoms of iron deficiency anemia, it's essential to seek medical evaluation to determine the underlying cause and receive appropriate treatment. Your healthcare provider may perform blood tests to assess your iron levels and may recommend further diagnostic tests, such as colonoscopy. Two, investigate for possible colon cancer or other gastrointestinal issues. Why you shouldn't ignore these signs. Ignoring the early warning signs of colon cancer can have serious consequences. When detected early, colon cancer is highly treatable, with a good prognosis for many patients. However, if left untreated, colon cancer can spread to other parts of the body, making it more challenging to treat and potentially leading to life-threatening complication. Early detection through screening tests such as colonoscopy can help identify precancerous polyps or early-stage cancers before they progress. By recognizing and addressing symptoms promptly, you can increase the likelihood of successful treatment and improve your chances of survival. Who's at risk? While anyone can develop colon cancer, certain factors can increase your risk. Age. Colon cancer is more common in individuals over the age of 50, although it can occur at any age. Family history. A family history of colon cancer or polyps increases your risk if you have a close relative with colon cancer, especially if diagnosed before age 50, your risk may be higher. Personal history of colorectal polyps or cancer. If you've had colorectal polyps or cancer in the past, you're at increased risk of developing the disease again. Inflammatory bowel disease. Conditions such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis increase the risk of colon cancer. Lifestyle factors. Factors such as a diet high in red or processed meats, low in fiber, lack of exercise, obesity, smoking, and heavy alcohol use can increase your risk. Prevention and screening. Prevention is key when it comes to colon cancer. While not all cases can be prevented, there are steps you can take to reduce your risk. Maintain a healthy diet. Eat a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole, grains, and lean proteins. Limit consumption of red and processed meats. Stay active. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Maintain a healthy weight. Aim for a body mass index, BMI, within the healthy range. Limit alcohol consumption. If you drink alcohol, do so in moderation. Limit intake to no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. Don't smoke. If you smoke, Quit. Smoking increases the risk of many cancers, including colon cancer. Screen regularly. Follow recommended screening guidelines for colon cancer, which may include colonoscopy, stool-based tests, or other screening methods. 
based on your age, risk factors, and personal preferences. In conclusion, recognizing the early warning signs of colon cancer is crucial for early detection and treatment. By paying attention to changes in bowel habits, rectal bleeding, abdominal discomfort, unexplained weight loss, fatigue, and other symptoms, you can. Take proactive steps to protect your health. Remember, early detection saves lives. If you experience any concerning symptoms, don't hesitate to consult with your healthcare provider. Thank you for watching and remember to prioritize your health and well-being. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more informative content. Take care and stay healthy.